Hello, and welcome to TCGS Presents, a spoiler cast for episode three, the final episode of Tell Me Why. My name's David Turner. I'm here with Matt Murray. Hello. James Farley. Hello. And Sean Bell. Hello. All right, are we ready to get into this last episode? Everyone ready? Let's do it. Good, because uh, I thought we'd do something a little bit different this time. Uh-oh. Um, I'm, well, I'm James, you worried. had this... You had this big theory about where where this story was going to go, yeah. Um, and it was an interesting one, and I I had it at the back of my mind while we were while I was playing this episode. So I thought, how about we go through your notes this this time? Mm. I've got, uh, I've, James, I've got no notes. I didn't take any notes for this at all. You kidding me? Didn't you, no, what? not at all. No, I wasn't expecting you were going to do this to me. This is not fair. Well, well, That's not James, the point. How long have we been doing spoiler cast for? No, no. How what long? I do is I take screenshots of the main decisions I've made, and then oh whatever. Okay. What do you mean? Oh, what you do is you fucking no, like listen, it, listen. James. That's what you say. You can't. You can't dictate to me how I play the games that I play. That's ridiculous. Yes, we can. Yes, we no, can. Yeah, we, all, on we all do a collective <sighs> show, and I think. If I remember the first series of Life is Strange that we did a spoiler cast for, we said, oh, James, you should have taken notes. And then pretty much every episode for series two of Life is Strange, we were saying, James, why are you not taking notes? I did because take notes. Because there was one episode, if I remember correctly, we recorded a little bit late and you'd forgotten everything that had happened <laughs> in the episode. I know, but that's, that's the thing, because that's exactly what's happened this time as well, because it was ages ago when I last played this. And the thing is, right, it's not like, just shut up and listen to me, right? We, the same <laughs> problem happened twice, and I didn't adapt my behaviour. <laughs> no, because last time I did take notes for Life is Strange episode two, and that was a waste of time. Like, it was a total waste of time. And so I don't, I hate taking notes when I'm playing games. I hate it. It's like it, it takes me completely so out I, of mate, the experience. We're, we're, we're producing a big podcast, you know. We're <sighs> popular now. We've 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 broken the mainstream. <laughs> you know, every now and then, if you want all the good stuff that goes along with being a very popular podcast, you got to do the work. Yeah, it's it, uh, it, it's not just a hobby anymore, James. It's a career. Well, I, uh, tell you what. Okay, all right, James. You haven't got any notes. Forget about it. Don't worry about it. Do it from memory. Go. <laughs> I don't remember any of the first part of the game. It was it, it, David. You know what you don't remember? It's so long ago. Yeah, <laughs> it was. It was last week. It was last week. And it. Come on. Let's be honest. This is not going to live long in the memory. Most of this, apart from the ending. I, I don't mean, remember got most of what happened in the. Ooh, it's not a review show. It's not a review show. <laughs> We're going through the plot. Okay, we'll go with my notes then. They won't make much sense. I do apologise. Here we go. Gotcha, Episode Dave. three. What's that, mate? Nothing, go on. No, go on, what, what did you no, say? You just, tell just the, another, tell the another gotcha. You know, you knew that I would have done this, and you just you just wanted to, I don't know, go on. I'd hoped you wouldn't, <laughs> to be honest with you, because we have spoken about this a few times, haven't we? Mm-hmm. And I'd have thought that maybe, apparently not. Uh, opening Goblin story, straight into it. Uh, we're going to rush through the start of this game, because a lot of it is rubbish, and um, <laughs> <laughs> we've got... We've got we've got a lot to talk about towards the end. So, uh, followed by opening cutscene. Alison, adult appears to be woken up on the moon. Is no, that in what a I frozen said? Frozen tundra. Yeah, that's right. Initially, though, the the shot was from above her bed, wasn't it? And it oh, yeah. Yeah. It, so it you like the moon themes back. <laughs> well, you know, it's not out of the realm of possibilities. I it? mean, it is bloody um, cold on the moon, so. Yeah, Ex- exactly. Same thing, That's what I said. Well, she's, she, I assume she was just on the lake, though, right? She wasn't actually in the tundra. Well, yeah, yeah, she's on the lake. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Then, so don't take I me mean, out of being that. In my book, it looked like a frozen tundra. That's, yeah, the, that's what my note said. That's what you call your fridge as well. Oh, I to go to the tundra. <laughs> oh man, and not everything holds a tundra. We've been through this. <laughs> my heart is a tundra. <laughs> <laughs> I wish don't we were giving the tundra these shoulder. Names. <laughs> Because that'd be a banger. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it's true. Um, notes oh, on I'm the floor. things have cold in. Notes, <laughs> notes, <laughs> notes on the floor. Picture of a mad hunter and the words, you killed me. And then I put a bit on the nose. <laughs> and then, no, after that, oh, it's like, you killed me. You killed your mother. <laughs> you end up like me. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think. no. Yeah, because I put this. I put, Alison wakes up. No way. Still dreaming. Alison turning around and seeing Tyler saying, you killed me. Made me laugh a bit. I'll be honest. It wasn't like I mean, it was a bit weird. 
<laughs> she turned around. Tyler's right in front of her face, screaming, "You killed me!" I was like, All right, okay, okay. Um, cut to Alison playing some music. Various shots from the local town. Still not seeing any new people, are we? Uh, maybe it is a ghost town. Uh, some strange shots chucked into this opening montage. Um, was that Alison? Was that Alison in the batch? with her sweatshirt on. Bath, that was supposed to say. Was that <laughs> yeah. Alison in the bath with her sweatshirt on? The, I, I commented at the start of episode two that I thought the opening montage was really good. Like, it really felt good. This one, not so much. It felt like there was just too much. Well, because, the, the, yeah, the, the bath, because I, I thought that was a bit of intentional misdirection, which I thought was quite good, because yep. it looked like she was in the bath wearing a sweater, as you yep. say, and it's like, well, what's going on here? And then, of course, then she does that scream, doesn't she? And yeah, it's like, oh, it no, we're viewing like... her from inside the sink and her face is in the water and she's, yeah. Yeah, if we're honest, it probably looked like she was taking her own life, right? Um, and, I, didn't, uh, I didn't go that far, but it was obviously, she, yeah, it was very clear she's having a fucking bad time. Yeah, okay. So, and then it says, nope, just washing her face. Was that some very dark red herring shit or maybe just some foreshadowing? Mm. Um, Alison now staying with Eddie. Uh, so she was in Eddie's Eddie's house, Eddie's flat. It's funny because I, maybe I'm just misremembering the end of episode two, but I, there was this big thing that you started off after a massive argument with Tyler, right? Yeah. And that yeah. they kind of went their separate ways. Yeah. And... Did we see that? Am I just I, I, when, forgetting it? I was thinking, hang on, what happened in the two? Because they're like, yeah, massive fight. And I was like, at first I was like, hang on, where is this in the timeline? At first I was like, is this in the past? Is this, like, I couldn't quite get it. And then I was like, okay, I, no, I thought it's... it was quite straightforward. It's like, oh, I yeah, thought they, it was they just fell a... out when we last spoke. So, But also I thought that was just a minor, it wasn't like a massive, huge falling out, though, I didn't think, at the end of that episode. It was yeah. I mean, it, 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 built up to though, hadn't it? It was this whole the, the general thing that actually Alison doesn't really want to know what went on, and and Tyler really does, and it yeah, she just like broke, didn't she? She refused, yeah, yeah. yeah. So Alison just looking around Diddy's <laughs> room like she doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> but, again, yet another one of those moments in these games where I feel awkward for what the characters are doing on screen, but no one in the game world feels awkward about it there's just like that strolling one letter. around in his room looking there's that one shit. there's that one letter she reads and says like oh no this is this is personal stuff and it's like yeah it's his fucking room <laughs> yeah. well, that's the thing, <laughs> like, especially through. when you're like rifling through his cupboards and it's yeah. like oh he's got a date with someone it's going like, out of your way to did get we a... find out who claire was no uh no so that was just pointless then but yeah I but guess. when we heard that name i was like Mm, who's Claire going to be? Who Although, was yeah, Claire? That's who what I Claire? thought. Do you notice that yeah. she like picks it up and goes, oh, I wonder who Claire is. Oh, I shouldn't be looking at this. And then puts it back on a different shelf. That, that oh annoyed me God, as well. Yeah. Done yeah. in. What was that? I, was I, really why, me I was like, is that, is that happened for a reason? Yeah, I, I yeah. Was, it was so obviously not the same place. I was like, why would she have done that? Well, she's did like, you try I don't and know pick who Claire it up again is, and put it but back I know I did. He keeps his numbers on typically. It must have fallen off. So let's put it back. Yeah, I tried to yeah, put that, it back. I, yeah, I tried to put it back. It, I, this, these games need to get that stuff ironed out, doesn't it? Because uh, at the amount of times it does it in Don't Not Do This Stuff. I think also you because... Just think, you wouldn't do that. No, but also because I'm so sort of like, everything that happens, I'm like trying to work out that's, you know, misdirection or something. Is it telling me something? Yeah. Is it hints? So when something's put in the wrong place, like, why is it put in the wrong place? <laughs> it wasn't just like she was like lazy and she like dropped it and it went somewhere. I'm like... Why? What, yeah, like what does that I mean thought at some point, Eddie was going to confront you for going in his bedroom. Yeah, because the letter was, was going to be the shelf. evidence. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, and you know that's how my brain works, right? Found a box. It appears to have a f- um, right. Okay, this is the other thing. So you find a box in Eddie's room, but you never open it, do you? Yeah, you do. Oh yeah. yeah, it's a puzzle, and I didn't, I didn't go back to try and get it solved, and I didn't look it up. So what? Okay, really, so okay, you you've, you opened it, you opened it, James, right? I did, yeah. But how did you work what, it out? Here's how my thing went. So I, I've written down. It appears I have to find a silver handed, a silver handed hairbrush. Yeah. And as I was going around looking for this hairbrush, I accidentally picked up things that just moved the story on. So I never <laughs> went back and opened. Yeah, that I think box. I did okay. the same. I've uh, I mean, around and it's like, oh, cutscene now, so I guess I can't go back. And you haven't missed left, anything. Left the place. Um, no, so really it's a coin that you need because it's mentioned in the story. Yeah. Um, that's, yeah, coin for, coin for a secret. Um, but yeah, it's, I was looking for the coins. You, then... But you open it and it's just 
it's the figurine for the secret keeper. Oh right, okay. no actual secret. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, I was looking at the coins shit. and I went back and I was like, oh, but then yeah, I must have done the same thing as you, Dave. I must have activated a cutscene and then by before I knew it, I was at the house. So, I mean, uh, that does come into it. I mean, uh, j- while we're talking about these little figurines that are the collectibles throughout this game, did anyone collect all of them? No. No. Does no. anyone knows, know what happens when you collect all of them? Nope. Because obviously you put them in the you know thing at the end. And yeah, I, so it I'd must activate something, something, right? Cool. Yeah, I, I, it must activate something cool up there, but no, I didn't. Yeah, I don't know either. Gutted. I, I, I right. can't be kind of tempted. To, I've never, like, like I said like, on the first spoiler cast, when I was going and getting some achievements, I've never been one to like, go back and get all the collectibles, but there's hardly any in this. And like, if it was going to be a cool... There's loads of them. No, well, yeah, but there's only like five per episode. And you often pick up three or four, maybe, you know, without even rummaging that far. Um, yeah, I think I'll YouTube that. Uh, if I'm totally <laughs> honest, I might be, do that after It'd be good if there's something cool, but I have an impression it won't be... Cool okay, cool. Uh, nope. Need to find an ID and pay sub- stubs for an application. Uh, Evil Eddie shows up <laughs> to talk about <laughs> his clan. What was well, that? Also, oh, no, so did you see? Is... Go on. Yeah, that Go was on. the like because it was the a memory, memory, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. And that was horrible because you saw that and you're like, oh, is this? Is he like really a bad like a bad guy? You know, kind of thing. And because before that, no. So I saw Marianne first. Really. Yeah, um, okay. and then was the other, there was another oh, yeah, one with Mary, Tyler. Yeah, Marianne and, turns yeah. up in the... Yeah, I saw Marianne as well. Yeah, and obviously it's, which, you know, is a, a fun, by which I mean terrifying inversion of the way the memory stuff works because, yeah, you, you, you suddenly these things are just springing out of you and they're not memories, they're just um, Alison's guilt sort of manifesting in front of her and it's... But obviously... Yeah, it's it, you're not used to these sort of you know these memories appearing and and them just like having a fucking go at you. It's it's really quite unnerving. Um, yeah, which you know, and a, a good way of putting across like the state Alison was in. I thought. Yeah, I thought I thought that I thought that was good, and I like yeah. the fact they sort of switched how you dealt with it up to that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, but they they there was also mistakes because the next thing I've put down is uh, weird audio issues where Alison goes from completely distressed to uh, from the memories. Uh, she's having to suddenly totally find while walking about because there was moments where the memory would end and she'd be like what is going on here what is oh uh, Oh, this is so scary there is a letter there (laughs) and i was like okay totally a little bit i just stopped like pressing on things too soon because i knew it would just instantly cut from ah there was there was a few audio problems i had with this episode that was one of them the other one was there was scenes where characters were talking to each other and it there was an echo, like as if they were supposed to be talking in an empty room, but like they were outside. Oh, really? Yeah, there was lots of I that. I didn't get that. Okay, that was strange. Like just reverb on the on the voice and it was really distracting. Mm. Okay, down to the basement. <laughs> um, brief memory of Mary Ann. Uh, go back to the light. Found my phone. That's when you're looking for your phone. It's downstairs. Okay, oh, fine. Yeah. Um, thankfully, uh, there's a wood carving book in the basement. The right. Okay, so this is that making was a present. Weird. From D, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Making a present for D. <laughs> Getting the book, and then it zoomed into that wood carving book. Yeah. And I was like, oh, thankfully, thankfully that's there. And I put um. Haha, ha, a perfect wolf head in seconds. If only the Diaz brothers were as good at making gifts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a little joke for yeah. Life is Strange season two yeah. fans there. You know when she was doing that, when she was fashioning the wolf, you know, mm. like with the thing. The, the, <laughs> no, the way that they shot like the camera angles for that, I kept on expecting something was going to come up behind her. Yeah. While it was going on. Yeah, because yeah, all, that, all that sort of behind the shoulder view, isn't it? Because they don't yeah. actually want to show you what she's doing because it's too hard to animate. Yeah. So I, I, I'd love to have seen it like, and it was really shit. <laughs> so she finished it. I mean, it'd be great. Or if there was like a quick time event, and then you had to go through this quick time yeah. event. The worst she did, the shit of the model was. <laughs> that uh, but instead, yeah. it was a perfectly varnished, yeah. polished uh, uh, wolf head, I think. Or see, that is shit, the kind of thing that David Cage would have done. You definitely would have yeah. been doing a QTE to make <laughs> yeah. that wolf exactly. look a really shit. Well, that sounds maybe, like an improvement. Maybe he so. is a genius. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tom and Michael turn up to offer cake. Uh, Tom told Tyler. <laughs> that was trying to say that with a uh after a few beers. Um Tom told Tyler was busy 
Instead of letting him, we had a fight. What? Tom told Tyler was busy. This is why I don't write notes. It's Instead like... of telling him, yeah, but you're you're you can write in sentences. <laughs> I, I don't even know what that means. I mean, you can choose not to read them out, Dave, if you can't. If you know, I do what they mean. <laughs> no, I'm reading them live. Um, yeah, so yeah, so yeah, so basically, uh, they come to the door, and then Tom says, "Hey, where's Tyler?" And you can say he's busy or we had an argument oh uh, yeah, yeah right yeah. okay that's it I, I right, busy. Okay. told tom tyler was busy right okay that makes sense um was anyone else i mean not to spoil anything uh, was anyone else at this point being like oh yeah james is fucking right yeah oh yeah like, totally. I, mean, I, I was definitely so thinking i'm weird. right about this yeah, yeah i mean he was so <laughs> guilty well, i did but i did put this right tom's weird here but if james is right about a mad hunter this conversation doesn't work at all <laughs> because it was kind of like, hello, yeah, oh, I'm such a cool, chill like guy. And although it was weird, it was kind of like, why would you even be here if yeah. you're in the middle of this big thing? Well, no, and it, it's, it's like Columbo. Like the the suspect is always the person closest to the case, yeah, asking true. the weirdest questions because <clears throat> Columbo oh, won't suspect. This ain't Columbo, Matt. <laughs> I wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. She's not at work. Their employer turned up to offer cake, and now she's going out for lunch with D. That was a bit weird, wasn't it? Yep. Wasn't she supposed to be working? She didn't turn up to work, so they were giving her cake to make her feel better. Yeah. yeah. At the same time, she's arranging going out for lunch with her oh, mate. I, I assumed it was supposed to be a day off. Okay. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Right. it was a day off. Right, okay. Yeah. But yeah, but, but she wasn't in the day before, though, with... wasn't it? Didn't they make a comment that she didn't show up at the shop? I don't know. I think she's just shit. Maybe. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> em- employer turning up with cake. And then, you know, maybe that's just, you know, we don't know what it's like living in a, a cool, close-knit community. Maybe that's just how they operate and we're uh, weird I, I, for being I mean, cynical about it. It was, su- su- not, I though. mean, obviously we had that discussion last week about it being Tom and, it, and yeah. that, that was obvious, but he was just well guilty. I'm like, you yeah, motherfucker. he was just being so weird. He was like, oh, so uh, how are you going? What's going on? You found out anything about your mom? Anything, any news? Any <laughs> As you need to tell me. <laughs> Have you done a DNA test? <laughs> <laughs> Have you, who was in the boat? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> and he's just like, oh, I'm just going to check if I've left any hairs or skin cells around here. <laughs> yeah, Shoot for them, or take them with me. Thanks. <laughs> um, I was thinking I might demolish the dock. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think our cheekbones look the same? Because I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a dirty now. Does that anyone, was, anyone, anyone, didn't. Does anyone here know a good way to set fire to a barn? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we, will, we, will, uh, we will definitely have to talk about that goatee later because it made me laugh a lot. Right. Um, so here's wait, the first major it, choice, right? Um, yes. Well, essentially, Michael goes in. Tom stays. Well, Tom goes home. Mm. Uh, although he's probably looking through the window. Yeah, no, he's um, probably smashing up something. Yeah, like. just going, did you say dad? <laughs> <laughs> just um, starting a fire. Come on, Chili. <laughs> so, so, I'll just be in the barn. <laughs> Sorry. So, so, Somebody's burnt this barn. It wasn't me. We might as well burn the whole thing down now, though, because <laughs> it's unstable. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Michael comes in, you sit down with Michael and you've kind of got the choice either to really open up to him about things or or sort of skirt around the issues. But I've put told Michael everything. Did you? Anyone else? Yeah, same. Yeah. No way. Yeah, I, like, I don't trust a single I don't trust anyone, so no what? way. Not even what? Michael. They're like lifelong friends. Michael's yeah, amazing. Yeah, but man. he's also, you know, he's He's working with Tom, close to Tom. I'm yeah, like, but she doesn't no know one. that, does she, at that stage? Like, that this is what's going on. She's really clueless. So, you know. Yeah, well, I wasn't clueless. I'm like, fuck that. No way. <laughs> I'm not telling anyone anything. I don't trust anyone, any one of you. Matt, you, you play... Uh, you uh, Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, Michael is clearly... Decisions. Michael is clearly, like, the nicest dude. Um, <laughs> yeah. I honestly, like... Almost like every point where I've been getting really fed up of this game, and then he'll come in, and it's like, ah, do you know what? I, yeah, Michael's cool. I mean, like he's the only like one hundred percent likable person in this. I think. Uh, I was, yeah, I wouldn't say hundred percent. No. Did that. you go fishing? Yeah, yeah. From I was. I just kind of got under my skin with like the overly aggressive flirting person. <laughs> Why does that get under your skin? Because at that point, it's like it's just like a nice, you know, friends, and suddenly it's like it, I don't know. I just felt a bit like calm the fuck down, Michael. Jesus, I thought it was all right. I, <laughs> I, didn't didn't my own, I mean, the flirting was time, weird, right. but I didn't feel like it was a, a, you know, a problem with his character. I just <laughs> no, nor do I. Yeah, I, um, took that, I. I was like, this is not on. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, Ellison now having visions of Mary Ann making comments about her present life. Uh, I chose not to tell Michael about the memories, actually, is what I've put down here. Okay. And did, I, chose Mike, I, I chose not to tell Michael about the memories because I just kind of thought, in terms of the memories and the powers that they've got between the twins, that should stay between them yeah. rather than anyone finding out about yeah. that stuff. So yeah, I, I didn't thought tell it, it would just jeopardize. It would like it's not. Uh, I should have talked to Tyler, and if he agrees that we can tell people, then yes. But I'm not something to blurt out the secret that we can do this, and it just open up loads of old wounds. I was like, also, no if Michael's going to be moving to a new place with both Tyler and Allison, and the washing up, who's doing the washing up exactly, tonight? Yeah. And then Tyler and Allison s- st- sit there looking at him, but not saying anything. Like Michael began, are you? Are you using your voice? Because yeah. we need to have like a don't... Because <laughs> yeah. I left yeah, some chicken exactly. out. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. um, Pitcher's going to take the bin bags out. You're slacking me off in your voice, you twat. <laughs> 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 did you leave the fridge open, Michael? Yeah, I did. Sorry about that. And then she goes completely yeah. silent. And then you hear, like, Tyler laughing upstairs. And you yeah. go, what <laughs> motherfucker? You, you shouldn't I... call him that word. Are you recalling the memory from this morning about our argument? I mean, come <laughs> on. Um, uh, I don't want Michael to go over to Tyler to talk to him. Why would I? Bit annoyed that I got the breaking up icon for that. Um, oh, really? I, yeah, I, so I, I was fine with that. I was like, yeah, go, go and have a chat with him. It was all right. I yeah, so was the, kind of like, well, it's my brother. I should be doing exactly, that. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I didn't because, again, I thought... Yeah. Okay. So it's basically the question was: Do what? Do I send Michael to the house to see if Tyler will talk? The, the the choices were that could work or that won't do any good. I chose that won't do any good because I was Same. like, well, again, it, I, if I, I, you know, Tyler might think, oh wow, like you won't talk to me yourself, but you send Michael to do your dirty work. Yeah, I didn't think that was right. And then when it pulled him apart, I was like, that's bullshit. I was, yeah. I was, I was doing that to protect Tyler and protect our friend, our relationship. Yeah. Not send Michael to do it. Yeah, I well, thought that's a bit. I thought that, it was very that, odd. So, so all of you, none of you sent Michael. So I did. Did it make well, any difference? This is a thing. He, yeah, he, he turns up anyway. So yeah, I was yeah, say, yeah. Just, just does it anyway. I was like, and, what are you doing here? And, and it's not like <laughs> yeah. and it's not like he shows up and goes like, oh, fucking Allison told me not to fucking comment. I think she didn't give a shit about you, Tyler. Jesus Christ! Like this is yeah. just not even mentioned. So why would that? Why would that drive them apart when one of them's not even aware of the interaction? Yeah, anything, yeah, yeah, she's, yeah exactly. protect, she's putting more faith in the relationship she's protecting him she's doing right by him by saying i'll talk to you when we're together not sending yeah. some you know that was my full process yeah. Yeah. i mean thankfully you find out that those icons moving apart do jack shit <laughs> I mean, unless absolutely so. nothing yeah no, no, it, it impacts the end it, it does i think it right okay yeah i didn't know that so i'll be interested to hear the details about that um back at the police station yeah officer wilson is the best voice actor in the game what I mean, what a performance! I know mm. it sounds stupid, and maybe it is because it's there's some weak voice acting in this game. But Officer Wilson, every time she spoke, I was like, "This sounds just proper good, yeah. just natural." Yeah, it was the most um, natural voice in the game for sure. Yeah, for sure. And um, Greg's has always had a sweet tooth. Got it from his mum. He also misses being fourteen. <laughs> okay, I thought I thought Got that was uh, strong enough yeah, to write down. Bit odd. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if there there are drugs in the cake. The new ice cream I put. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Greg says boring is good. That that a word straight from don't nod did on this one. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little bit vicious here because I was at this point in the game getting a little bit like, come on, this is the final episode. Yeah. Let's get things going. And so far, I've bit, walked around the house. Mm-hmm. Turned up at the police station, talked about going for lunch, which we were never going to see. Too hard to animate. And now I'm eating cake in the canteen, and I'm thinking, something's got to happen soon. Dump cake. Um, and then I put in capitals, something did happen. Something big happened. They caught the mailbox bandit! <laughs> oh, I think um, about the cobbler. No, not the cobbler. We okay. didn't talk about the cobbler. Cobbler we did look nice, though. To be fair, I felt bandit. very hungry watching did- that. Did you guys all guess correctly who it was? No, I, I, I thought it was a kid or something. I don't know. Yeah. James? Uh, no, I did, because it was... If you read the um, the paper stuff, it, it tells you who well, it was. Well, I read Correct. and it said stripy. Uh, I was like, okay, maybe a kid's wearing a stripy top. That was... Yeah, that was my <laughs> no, exact... No, I knew it was an animal. That was my exact I think you hear someone well, talking man. about it on the phone as well, and there's hints there. Oh, right, yeah. 
Yeah, Annoying. so it's something like all scurried off or something like well, that. Again, and I was like, so. scurried is yeah, like and scurried. The, well, one of Port said child like child size. I like, yeah. hey, what's your kid wearing a bloody <laughs> outfit? <laughs> yeah, but if you read a little bit further, it said child size. Badger. <laughs> raccoon, yeah. I was annoying because I didn't get the achievement for that one. I was like, was it was a raccoon, wasn't it? Yeah, raccoon. Yeah, What's the like, raccoon the doing with all the post? Just reading Good them point. and nicked well, someone's phone. Hopefully we'll hear more about that in Tell Me Why too. <laughs> uh, right, I guess correctly. Tell me why again. Uh, <laughs> tell me that again. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> say that again. <laughs> Greg, Greg's went for a shit. He's back. Didn't hear him wash his hands. Now Alison is taking shit from him. Fuck Greg's. Oh shit. Greg's sending Alison into a panic attack. Yeah. Yeah, that was horrible. Uh, that was horrible. And then, but the car map thing was strange. Did the, you find that strange? The wait, the what? The car map. You go oh, outside sorry. and you get your mobile sorry, phone I heard out, that as and then you go car map. And I was like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> yeah, you know when he gives you that four candles, the, the, mate. Uh, A um, to Z. <laughs> uh, no, I, I thought that was quite good. Um, it was. Yeah, it no, was definitely too long. It was a bit. You know, I yeah, mean, it went like, on for a while, didn't it? Yeah, it did go on a bit, a bit for a bit, a bit too long. But um, no, I mean that's yeah, that's a you know a thing that people use, and there might be people who play this and go, oh, I get panic attacks. I didn't know that was a tool that was available. Yeah, I suppose um, so. I suppose you're right. I thought that, that scene was, was good. Yeah, it was was a bit drawn out though. Uh, vision of Tyler and Allison talking as kids, and then I put in capitals, big moment. Does Allison tell Eddie that she killed Mary Ann? That's the choice you get yeah, that's the choice, to yeah. tell Eddie that mm. if you killed Marianne or not. I did um, not. James did not. Matt? Oh, no, of course not, no. But, uh, Sean? Nope. Well, we all chose the same decision because, then. Brilliant. Because again, well, we'll never... if I did that, it would open up old wounds and... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, it's just like, Tyler well, what, first. what it's fucking not... good... Like, that would, yeah. you know, completely piss on Tyler's sacrifice. Yeah, yeah. yeah for it's Alison. not really my secret to tell. It's our secret, so no yeah. way I'm going to tell you. Also, exactly. I didn't like Eddie at all. The <laughs> stuff we learned about him in episode two uh, put me right. Uh, I have all, no all, time for it. Almost Eddie. none of it really resolved as well. No, nope, yeah. none of it. I don't think we see Eddie again after this. Oh my God, Am I right? not? No, um, I don't think we I see think, him at all. Is it not a memory? Oh, no, I thought it was a memory. Might be right, not even not. after the, the big moment. No good point. That's just it. Is this, this is Eddie now? Um, if you're a fan of Tell Me Why and you're upset with this podcast so far, I I get you, right? We are all a little bit disappointed with this. Mm. I'm sorry about that, but trust me, there's moments in this that we do like, and we will get to them. So <laughs> stick with us <laughs> while we take the piss a bit, and then and, uh, and we'll get to the stuff that we really like because this. Yeah, I do think this this ends really well this this uh, episode. But oh, definitely. Um, yeah. Right. Asked how close Sam and Marie were. I don't know who I asked. Oh, I must have asked. Um, that's why I asked Eddie. After that, oh, does no, Alison tell was, Eddie? Right. Yeah, was, I chose was, not to. There was like I do three not choices Eddie. in a row here. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I chose. I chose uh, not to. I do not trust Eddie. Uh, I can't move on. Is what I put. And then uh, asked how close Sam and Mary Ann were, um, and then you're off to speak to Sam. Did anyone else have something to talk about with this conversation? Because it was pretty straightforward for me. Yeah, I just said um, I, ca- I can't move on. I obviously wasn't going to say I killed Mary Ann. And um, uh, I, uh, in the other question about did he bring out goblins or was he close with Mary Ann, um, I chose did he bring out goblins because that felt more natural in the conversation yeah yeah rather yeah, than yeah. going straight in, like, hey oh sam's going hey was he close to mary ann it's like <laughs> yeah, i just felt it felt weird because we're talking about memory and stuff weren't we yeah 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 so so what was the what came from that um very little you think it was, yeah, I remember yeah. <laughs> it was pretty non-eventful yeah um, okay. well, Eddie mentions but, like he, he, you know, he'd support her, um, you know, getting help with her mental health and stuff, didn't he? Um, I, did, I did sort of like they make the point that, um, yeah, if you live somewhere that's a bit isolated or particularly rural, like yeah, getting help with mental health stuff is a fucking nightmare. Um, yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it was cool that they sort of brought that up. Um, but yeah, that was kind of so, it, wasn't it? I, I mean, I assume given that, that we all go from here to go and speak to Sam, and yeah. for one reason or another, yeah. the implication being that 
you're going to accuse Sam of being your dad. Well, yeah, 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 because the line before that is basically Alison asked Sam if uh, Alison asked Eddie if Sam could be the dad, and Eddie said Sam and Marianne were close, but he didn't have any proof. Yeah, that's right. That's Which what we got as well. Weird, you know, proof. Yeah, what sort of proof you're gonna? Yeah, well, I didn't actually yeah. literally catch them see him at do it, it, but you know, <laughs> so, but I, I didn't try. Not, did not see it going in. <laughs> I found the video and coming out with <laughs> Sam and Mary Ann written on it. Yeah, uh, but I did not watch I, it. <laughs> I, I've got Sam's OnlyFans, but there's no pictures <laughs> of that. Uh, right. Okay. So you're off to the uh, workshop to meet. Sam to the red herring. talk to him. Yeah. yeah, the red herring. Um, But I put, this is a bit weird so far, seeing Sam through the garage window, then the long long walk round to the back of the workshop, um, and then giving you the option to look at what he's working on constantly. Yeah, mm. and like reading what all the papers about what he was doing and all that, and you're like, what? I don't... <gasps> yeah, why okay. am I doing you know, any it's, of this? It's, no, no, it did set some context, though, for Sam. Of like what his life was and all that kind of stuff. Like you got the whole thing that, you know, he was repairing stuff because, you know, short of money, you know, and then you get, if you read the other documents, you got like, it turns out his kids sending him cash as well um, because he's got problems. I didn't see any of that. I do not. Yeah. No. He's got a lot of yeah. issues. Yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. I, the on, the, the first few uh, letters and stuff you see on the left hand side, they're like, uh, you know, his rent is due or he's got bailiffs and stuff and then. Yeah, another letter from someone else saying we sent you some money. There's like court action stuff as well. Yeah. Like yep. you've done, you know, like you've got, a, you've been summoned and all that kind of thing. Yeah, he's had to downgrade yeah. Netflix to SD. It's yeah. really oh, bad no. for him. Poor I'm guy. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be able to see it through that drunken haze anyway. No, he's um, absolutely wasted. The, 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 right, okay, so this bit wound me up as well. So at one point he says, oh, I need to get this bolt open. Can you get the rust remover? And I was like, okay, where is it? Oh, I, I don't know, know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, so same. I'm looking around and it gives you the option to pick up a can. So I thought, okay, well, that must be it. You walk over, give it to him. He's like, no, not that. It's in a red can. Then he cuts himself and says, this is what I put in quotes, um, couldn't find the can. Now Sam has cut himself. Should be in the cupboard over there. And I was going, over where? <laughs> it reminds me of my dad. My dad does that all the time. If I'm ever doing DIY with my dad, he'll go, pick that up, put that over there. Right. Okay, dad, what's that? And what's over there? Because yeah. you're not pointing at anything. Yeah. So what am I supposed to do? Dad, get th- pick that up and put that over there. <laughs> I, that means nothing. That, that's clear as day in your head. But you're not communicating well enough. <laughs> oh, when, then, when you ask for something, is it's on the side. Yeah, yeah, you're on the side, side. on the beach. Or or, or you're carrying something heavy and it goes, tilt it, tilt it. (laughs) Right, okay, we can tilt it in various different ways here. The the, the axis here could be anywhere. (laughs) What what do you want me to do? Um, The thing that annoyed me about this thing is that um, I had opened that cupboard Mm -hmm. and there was nothing in there, right? I was like, oh, I can open a cupboard, but there's nothing in there. Yes, right. Um, I found another can. And he's like, no, it's the other one. And I was like, I, I guarantee it's in that cupboard. It was in that cupboard. I was like, don't allow me to look, open the cupboard or do something else. I didn't like, know you could open the cupboard yeah. before, before that moment. I so like, I thought I that know, was just a shitty little... I, I knew it was up. Uh, oh, no, 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 sorry. No, I, I saw the can in there, but I couldn't pick it up. Oh, right. okay. And, right. okay. and then That's really grab annoying. the other one, knowing all that one, it's a red one. I was like, well, it, it's in that cupboard. I fucking saw, but I couldn't actually. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, does it, so, so you, like, I presume you can prevent him from cutting himself if you're quick no, enough. I, but no, I guess what I think maybe not. what Matt's saying is that you absolutely can't. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe you could at one point in this game, but then, you know, <laughs> they yeah. took that out. I don't know. Uh, right. Okay. Alison picked the weirdest moment to ask if he was their father. Yeah. He's not. Because this is like they're, he's bandaging, bandaging his hand up and then they're just chatting about something and, and she just goes, are you my dad? And I was like, <laughs> that come out of nowhere a little bit, but all right. I, suppose, I mean, I guess it, it's that thing of like, yeah, she's she, in her head. She's just going like, there is not going to be a, a good moment to do this no. so fuck it i know so, well so best I, to do it when he slashes you finger say off. that <laughs> you say that you say that sean she's had about half an hour in that little workshop walking <laughs> about looking at shit yeah. you know what i mean I, did, I, I should say i i thought this whole bit was really good i really liked yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like I, he, I did not have an wow, issue with it really too. yeah like the, despite it. the I fact it. that it was you know we said previous episode it's so obvious that it was like 
it was trying too hard to be like, oh, maybe Sam's your dad. It was clearly not. Um, it's too obvious. But I, I don't know. I just enjoyed spending a bit of time with him and just actually hearing more from him other than, hello, I'm here to fix things. Also, Tyler's having a go at me for no reason. Um, I don't know. It's just that he just became no, totally his own character Sean. a little bit here. I thought yeah. oh, it was good. So I thought it was okay from the moment he cut his hand. Right, yeah. All that stuff before it, I just thought, this is just dragging stuff out for me. It's it, it like just felt like a safe, a safe place, and, you know, he was obviously hard up. Safe and, place? Like, it's the first time we've seen someone slice their hand open. He was at work, he's fixing motors, he's a hard up. I, was, he felt, I, felt, I, I liked it. I liked Sam, I liked talking mm. to him, and why he only did got you, better. Why did it give you the option to keep looking at that thing? Wait, what thing? Sorry. Well, the, the, the thing motor. that he's working on, like the motor uh, or whatever, it yeah, keeps giving you the option. You just sort of look at it, and then I thought yes. she was going to like help him repair it or something. So did <laughs> I. I know. thought you were going to have to look at what's broken <laughs> and, and then the point camera, it out to him. Or camera something. pans over to her, like how to fix your first motor book on the shelf. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, right. It okay. Was, it was also at this point where you know, like last time before, you know, when we were recording, we were saying we don't really know much about Alison. Like we yeah. don't really know mm. her character very much. And it was by this point I was like, I can can't. She's not very interesting, though, is she? <laughs> really? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No. Well, yeah, because yeah, no, when you she's... compare, like, so yeah, you know, we said like right, right off, right at the beginning, you know, we saw Alison's room, and it was like, oh, okay, I guess she likes space, um, which is you know barely mentioned ever again. Whereas. This section with Sam, I felt it was like like he really inhabited everything about the space. It was all yeah. like his life was just fucking plastered all over it. Um, I and I, yeah, and I just the difference between oh, the two. Well, that's on, interesting. Hold on, so you don't you must have had the conversation about space with Sam because it made oh, yeah, it clear yeah. that yeah. yeah that her obsession with space with space came from him, right? Do you think that was supposed to be like another, like, oh, yeah. maybe you've, that's been passed on genetically? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I, I, I think, no, because I think what it was trying to you say... You love Mars, the, I love Uranus. The feeling, the feeling I got from it was that Sam used to be, uh, you know, he used to sail a lot. Yeah. And because of that, he wanted to understand the stars and yeah, all that sort of stuff, because that's yeah, a part yeah. of sailing. And he had all these books about the stars and everything, which... Alison picked up on her from a young age and that's where that all come from hmm. but the, the, you know the, the problem I had with that is that that was at the start of the game and at this point here <laughs> yeah. there was no yeah. other sort but of that's the thing isn't it like by that point you that. feel that you know more about Sam than you do about Alison really yeah. 100% like, absolutely. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes it's, yeah. yeah yeah totally um, right okay uh, Sam was looking to buy the house bit weird <laughs> that's why <what I> <laughs> I mean, he's hopeless, right? He's like, he fell in love with Marianne, clearly. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, to some extent, Marianne took advantage of him um, uh, yeah. in in various different ways. But, uh, like, she was aware of the affection Sam had for her and got Sam to do a lot for her. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, so... I don't think it was weird he was trying to buy the house. I think it was I more, think it was weird he was trying to buy like, the house. I'm living in the bed. I don't think it's that. Yeah, no. I think it was more just trying to just trying to protect, you know, protect the memories. And no. you know, I think it's more about that. You wanted to get into that bed. No, uh, I don't think it was. That. <laughs> that's it was what I'm thinking. No, it's just he wanted to protect the memories. Like it's, I, I always think it's sad whenever like you move house or that sort of stuff. And he's, you know, there's memories, there's emotion. Yeah. There and obviously, he's I don't like, know. I mean. Also, he had the opportunity to get in that bed the whole time, anyway. You know, while you know, while he was looking after pardon. the place. Well, no, he, he didn't because he remember he mentioned he couldn't. He oh, never yeah, he couldn't get into the room. Yeah, he couldn't yeah. get into the room. Get into room. He's 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 been trying. The bed. He, he wants tried. to protect the house. Uh, but also, <laughs> he wants to get into the bed. Also, um, <laughs> just want to get you in. know, sort your debts out first before well, yeah. thinking about buying another house. Yeah, not Let's really in any position, is he? All calm down. Um, and if you looked at the price of the house, it weren't cheap either. You know. Right, there's a loft in the barn. Uh, also, being gentle with Sam here is all over the place. Yeah, he's so yeah, he, up. yeah, you have a, you, you have some opportunities to sort of have a pop at Sam. I avoided all those opportunities. Mm-hmm. Sam is clearly not in a good place. Definitely, Didn't need yeah. Alison going crazy. Um, but yeah, the the big reveal was that there's a loft in the barn. And, yeah, uh, I, I, um, I like this bit too. I, I liked. Um... 
I, I, you know, it's like getting to sit down with him and mm. go through the pictures. Yeah, and that bit learn, was pretty good. Learn yeah, about yeah, Sam sure. and obviously yeah, he's got, yeah. had his whole other life before, like the life that we've seen in these episodes. And and um, getting frustrated with him as well the the moment he walked over to that bottle and started chugging alcohol. Yeah, again. I, I thought I thought yeah, that was really really well done. And yeah, that's the, that's it, isn't it? You could confront him about his um his drinking. Yeah. yeah, yeah, his drinking, and I chose not to really because I just thought, what good is that going to do in this moment? Yeah, yeah. He knows um, he's I think one of the choices, problem, like. I can't remember exactly what I said before, but one of the choices I wrote down was, it was either let go of Marianne or I'm sorry. And I just chose I'm sorry because yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah, right yeah. to say let go. He, he's, <clears throat> he, you know, he's sort of topped up to him when he lets go, you know. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I like Sam a lot. Right, okay, back with Tyler, Michael's shown up on the dock back at, back at the house. Uh, they're fishing now, not sure why. Fishing minigame, sure, why not? Um, I, the fishing mini game I struggled with initially until I worked out that actually I'm supposed to be, you know, you're, so what it is, you, you've got the, there's a bar, isn't there? And uh, you've mm. got to move the white cursor to the middle of the bar. And if you go too yeah. far, it snaps. Yeah. And if you're, and I thought it was pressure sensitive. So I'm trying to hold the, um, the uh, trigger in yeah. the right place. But it's not easy. You have to keep pressing it. You have to sort of keep pressing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. fucking. So one of them, I was there for ages, and I'm going. (laughs) But if I push it just like half a millimetre closer to the, the, you know, it it flies past it. But then if I I was just getting so frustrated, it really took me a while to get that. On on your one, did Michael say, you know, I'll come back tomorrow? (laughs) <laughs> was it, was it like overnight fishing for you? Yeah, oh yeah, it's I nighttime fishing. One. <laughs> no, actually, I, I I caught them all in the end. Did I see everyone off. did. It wasn't hard, was it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I got a lot. Uh, once you got the knack of it, it was fine. I but anyway, one on fish, if you know what I mean. Okay, um, it's uh, weird to have this conversation in the uh, in the last episode. Feels like a lot of stuff being said. Uh, that won't matter in an hour or two. <laughs> so they were talking a, a lot about stuff we blatantly weren't going to see. And yeah, it felt like, why are we having this conversation now? There's probably about an hour left in this episode. Yeah. None of this is going to matter. I, and I, I suppose like I, I shouldn't be conscious of that. It was mainly about moving and what they were going to do when they get there and their future mm. together and yeah. how they feel well, about each other that. and stuff. It's- I just don't think I was in a good place during this bit of the game. Um, <laughs> I was, you see, I was going to say I, I thought the like the flirting or the sort of the romance here was like a million times more convincing definitely. than the. It was definitely better than the first one. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah oh, a hundred percent. Right. Did um, we? Uh, yeah. Well, hold on. We'll get there. Um, Michael and Tyler connecting. Nice. But then he pulls out some ice cream. Holy shit! Here we go. <laughs> That's what I put in capital letters. Um. So, right, so th- this conversation ends with um, you... I-, I was, again, I was a little bit disappointed with how this panned out for me um, because it felt to me at this point that Tyler and Michael's relationship was good and it was going in the right direction. You get the opportunity to sort of confirm that, um, to explore whether they like each other, um, which I took... And then you get the opportunity to kiss Michael, Mm -hmm. which I didn't take because I thought, I don't know, man, like Tyler didn't feel like he was at that point for me anyway. But I do feel that he was at the point where um, where they were connecting and there was something there, you know. Mm. And so it was sort of the midway point for me. What annoyed me is that the end of the the end of the conversation was totally fine and totally worked and it was great and I I felt happy with where their relationship was at at the end of this scene. But at the end, it says Tyler and Michael uh, were good friends. And I was like, oh, because I didn't go in for the kiss. Is that it? You bloody friend zoned him. Didn't consummate (laughs) it. But I didn't know and it certainly didn't feel like that. Like the conversation, the, the conversation that they had was yeah, I think there might be something here. Dave, you're a cock tease. I mean, all that flirting in the back of the shop, all the flirting <laughs> in the fish and then like at the end, you know what? No, mate. <laughs> I think Jog I might on. be. <laughs> so what you went what did you guys do? Yeah, I did I did the kiss, yeah. I, I went for it, yeah. Yeah, me too, yeah. I was just well, I, like I'm... I totally get the yeah, the idea <laughs> that it's like well tight. with everything going on, maybe Tyler's just not in a place to 
um, you know, do something like that. But then, yeah, I don't know. They just, I don't know, felt right, I guess. And it was like, yeah, um, yeah it's just like, yeah, do you know what? Something nice should happen to Tyler, actually. I'm Let's... totally with you there, Sean. <laughs> I was like, so much shit's happened. Yeah. So much shit is almost certainly about to happen at the end of this chapter, end of the episode, whatever. I'm like, you know what? Let's have a nice little moment. Give him a kiss and let's yeah. see what happens. And, I agree. You know, That's what I went for. But they had a nice little moment. Doesn't nah, they have to involve the, what you mean? You mean the chucking the? Oh, I thought you meant the the chucking the soft toys at each other. Before. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! I did not mean that. Um, okay, but I, I, I think what annoyed me is that at the end of it, it was like nothing came of it. <laughs> I was like, what? Just because I didn't go in for the kiss, yeah, like that. She was a little bit cautious. Uh, the thing know. is, though, Dave, like you, you, you were saying, oh, you know, you you saw potentially something could happen in the future, but then that will be in another chapter we're also not going to play so you had sort of issues saying like why are we listening to this stuff that we're not even going to because one was involved in the relationship between the two and then the other one was talking about their living situation Mm. i think that's what it was i know this chat i know this episode's gonna end in like an hour so just get it while the game's good yeah but yeah but hold on no there's a look when you get to the end of a film you want to know where the relationships are with everyone you don't necessarily want to know what rooms they're living in <laughs> in the house when they move in. You know what I mean? It's, I do want some movies. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, okay, uh, back with Alison. There's a lot of echoing in the vocals for some reason, so that's what I was talking about earlier. Oh. Um, in the barn, looking looking at the loft. Why can't I pick the ladder up? I was constantly trying to pick that ladder up, and it wasn't until I realised that you had to actually flick the latch before you could uh, before you could grab the ladder. Do you know what I was trying to do? I didn't know that you needed the ladder. I was trying to climb on the car. I was like, well, <laughs> yeah. I'm that you bit. play too many video games. Yeah. That's the problem. Um, uh, yeah, that's Last of Us. That's pure Last of Us. Yeah. Um, now I can get the ladder. I wanted to see what the car looked like, to be honest with you, James. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, because did it have a post-it it note in. on it? The top one was over. I was like, "Hey, yeah. surely there's gonna be a big reveal," but no. <laughs> yeah. You imagine, it's yeah, you like throw it off, and it's just like some like fucking amazing hot rod, fully like, <laughs> yeah, but we've got really well, well cared for. Sam's just like, "Oh yeah, I've been you know sorting that out for the last ten years. It's amazing." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's Marianne's favorite car. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it comes with the house. It comes with the house now. So <laughs> Sam, all that work, we get it. But what about my debts? Don't worry about your debts. <laughs> <laughs> we money, money, baby. It's on our land, baby. Yeah, uh, that's the point. At no <laughs> point were they baby. like, "Oh yeah, you know all this money, all this money we'll get from the house sale." Should we give Sam like two grand just to clear, you know, clear his rent and shit? No, no. for all the they yeah, got, like he's been looking after the house. Buy, sure. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, James. What are you um, saying? Yeah, because he's been lo- like looking after the house, doing exactly. odd jobs. You know, he's yeah, still he's getting fuck all, mate. Trying yeah, to get into that room. All. <laughs> yeah, clawing away at Mary Ann's door. Uh, right, okay. Up in the loft, full of paintings uh, and a box puzzle. Here, for me, is where the game slipped into. Oh, this is really good. Yep. Um, yeah, I enjoyed uh, this bit. You know, it didn't make up for all the shortcomings <laughs> of uh, of the series for me, but I think this whole bit was mm. fantastic. Yep. Yeah, I loved every minute of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just I loved. The look of it, I love the vibe. I got excited, like, hey, let's give you puzzles here and on all these things. I like that got me excited. There is, like- you know, there is the easy way out of saying, how could Marianne not have a job and be really struggling when she's got all of these clearly incredible skills? <laughs> She's not only managed to put this puzzle together. Yeah, she's not. She not only managed to put like puzzles together. They're also puzzles that somehow activate a mechanism that close windows and shit that put <laughs> shutters <laughs> over windows and stuff. Yeah. It's also like uh, all perfectly preserved as well. Like over this time. Yeah. But then, do you know what? It's fine. You've got to it? suspend belief yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Um, right, finding out new things about Mary Ann with every puzzle. Uh, she was clearly treated harshly by her mum. Uh, she was pregnant before moving on, uh, so the twins might have a sibling. Um, I'm starting to think that James might be wrong, is what I put there. Um, and then I was fully focused on this whole scene, so I didn't put a lot of notes until Jesus, that Tiara yeah. story. Yeah. Really awful. Man, that was, yep. you know, again, if you're being hypercritical, you could say they did make it a little bit too on, like too obvious what the tiara yeah. was while reading that thing. Yeah, no, yeah. I think it was fine. 
what I cradling the tiara and placing <laughs> it down and giving it a kiss before bed. I was like, that mm. stuff's not needed. We know what the tiara is, right? Mm. But ultimately, reading through that was genuinely upsetting yeah, for yeah. me. Yeah. I, I mean, it really hit a nerve with me. And because yeah. I like, I mean, I don't know if you guys get this, but like parenting in general can be a fucking nightmare at times and occasionally like i have these flashes of just like oh my god some people do this alone and it honestly like yep. if i think about it too much like i start to like really panic yep. and yeah so to obviously like you know marianne's story is like sad enough as it is like the fact that she had to run away from her family and had to have this kid on her own um and yeah and i just i i cannot even imagine the the grief the grief um, yeah. yeah yeah just horrible yeah it, it it um and that she also like clearly didn't share it with people either yeah. at all yeah, like yeah. what was going on so she kept all that you know bottled up mm. like inside and then yeah mm. just also it's clear like all of the i don't know if you felt this as well but all of the puzzles leading up to that story made it seem like the connection with this child was way more important. Yeah. Well, yeah, because like, a lot like of you was, thinking... It was like... important for other reasons other than it was her kid. Yeah. Mm. It yeah, felt yeah. like she escaped from a horrible life with this child. Like, it was yeah. a, you know, the most important thing to her, which, of course, kids are anyway, uh, yeah, when you have and, them. And, and, you know, this is this is a huge leap. But obviously, when you first find out that you, you might have this, this other sibling... I start thinking, like, well, fuck, maybe that's the mysterious person. Maybe that's, you know, there's like resentment because, um, you know, they, they weren't around and we got to grow up with Marianne and they didn't and uh, or something. And then, yeah, and then you just find out that the truth is just unbelievably sad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I loved it, all these stories. They're all heartbreaking in their own way. But, mm. I, yeah, I, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was sad. But it was, it was like a it was really, it's just really, really uh, fantastic to sort of, read them and and really understand who marianne was yeah and the life she and the, lived and the puzzles themselves i think i um made a lot of comments on the last episode about how shit the puzzles were mm. and i think the conclusion i come to by the end of this one is that the puzzles that are really good in this like the door everything in the loft stuff like that they make you focus on stories right yeah. it's not just about read this text and enter this thing like it was in the with the box with the numbers on yeah this was very much like no you need to understand these stories and that's where this game worked and each one of these was like no you need to get it before Mm -hmm. you move on Mm -hmm. like you need to get it you know the sliding the the carving of the mum around where she's controlling Marianne's life yeah yeah, you need to understand great. the characters that are involved in these stories and how harsh this mum was. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, not even necessarily like it didn't go into abuse and stuff like that. It just went very much into how controlling she was over her life. Yeah. Yeah, it was just kind of an, an oppressive environment, wasn't it? That yeah, because sort of the, the dad I was no thought, fucking better. Jesus Christ, the letter no, from her no, dad. Holy and, fuck. And the, 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 I also, I don't know if this was intentional. I think it was, but how Marianne spent her life trying to let the kids be free, yeah, and to to bring up her child in the opposite way, yeah, than how she was brought up. But ultimately, um, Alison ended up with Eddie, and Eddie was doing the stuff that. Marianne's mum was doing that's not true. to the same extent but also controlling her life yeah. and saying you got like paying for paying for firewood to keep them apart you know telling her that she didn't get into drama school when she did stuff like that mm. and it made me think fuck man everything she tried to do for these kids and it still ended up like this you know mm. yeah, um, yeah and then the tiara story just pushed me over the edge that was just you know, that was yeah. like a dagger in the heart. It was mm. really, really well done. And as I said, you could complain it was a bit on the nose in places, but I, I don't care. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? That <laughs> yeah. sort of stuff doesn't send me into a spiral of, oh, well, they did this. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, no, I thought it was really good. Um, okay. Uh, shame they felt they had to explain it, um, everything. Yeah. yeah. It's a shame that they had to explain everything after reading that story. Um, so yeah, that did that did piss me off a little bit because the moment you stop reading the story, you got it. Mm. And then Tyler and Alison spell it out for you in a conversation yeah. between the two of them. And I was kind of like, this bit's not needed, man. Yeah, yeah. Like it kind of takes the the edge away. You know what I mean? It's like, I've worked out everything in my head. You've made it ultra clear in that story. We don't need Tyler and Alison to go, I think the tiara was the baby. And I was like, okay, yeah. You know, <clears throat> I, I yeah, because it's you, you know, you read the story, and as you say, maybe a bit too obvious in places, but you get that feeling of like, oh, do you know what? The writer has trusted me to not be stupid. And then, yeah, and then when they spell it out, it's like, oh, no, they didn't. They, they... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's how I felt. Yeah. Um, okay, finish the extra puzzles. I assume everyone did, right? Because the yeah. puzzles were so good that I went on and did the others. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, of course, the others were more about reading the original The Goblin stories. Mm. Um, again, I think all of them worked. I don't think the payoffs to the puzzle were that amazing, but no. But um, there was some nice, nice sort of like more context and stuff. You know, you see like sure. with with like yeah. Tessa and uh, Marianne. And, yeah, they did were, we? And even Sam. Yeah. There was a letter from Sam, wasn't there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, did we? Uh, there was a couple of the characters from the stories that I never. I don't think we ever met them in real life. The I don't. Um, I, don't well, know, yeah, there's, I, I don't know who the secret keeper was. Um, yeah, there's uh uh, uh what's his face? His mum. The oh yeah, the, the be- yeah, she was the beaver, ref- wasn't she? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Her letter to Mary Ann was was really good. Yes, agreed. Um, um but, but I yeah, didn't know so who if- yeah, so I didn't know who the secret keeper or the, the frog were. And I don't know if they were just like, do you think maybe they were cut or or am I just stupid? Did I miss something? I can't remember. Mm. What was what was said about the secret keeper and the frog? Um, so the secret keeper was well. Supposedly, she was the person who gave the the twins the voice. Um, but yeah, so but, but like so yeah, the the story with the secret keeper is it mentions the moose. I Eddie basically confides in her about how so he had a a partner who died, um, and he confides in her about it. It's like a, a hiking accident basically. Um, and then yeah, and then like the the twins steal the secrets from the secret keeper, and then in exchange for giving them back. She gives them the voice, but I have no idea how that could even be like a you know a, a clever yeah, allegory for anything. It's yeah. just <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then the 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 frog is um, responsible for basically for responsible for bringing uh, Marianne to Dallas Crossing. Um. So, but we never uh, yeah as yeah, far as I'm aware, never found out who that is, which is kind of a shame. I mean, it's not it's not vital, I suppose. It's just weird to have this like quite nice um framework all built up and then it just turns out some of the characters just you just never find out who they are <laughs> but you know, what, what, what would it be if it was um uh you find a letter and it's from the ferry driver and they said hi marianne hope you get home safe thanks for ju- going on my fer- ferry from alan frog yeah, mr f <laughs> frog, yeah. alan frogman <laughs> <laughs> um, <what? laughs> P.S. Ribbit. <laughs> oh, and who was who was the Ice King? I, I I was just thinking of a character and thinking, were they in the book? Mm. Um. So you had you had Marianne. With well, the painter must be in there somewhere, right? The artist. The oh, who was that? I don't even remember the artist. So the artist was the the um the dad of. Leo, right? Right, sorry, yeah. The one yeah. that was ushered away by the mum. Yeah, yeah. So maybe we've just not connected the dots in a few places. Yeah, but if possibly. you know, if you've looked into it or you worked out more than what we did, yeah, then please again, please email in yeah. uh, podcast at tcgs.co yeah. um, with, the, with the subtitle, uh, tell me why. Yeah, because I did and, wonder, um, so you know there's the, um, the hag, who, the moon hag who lives under the lake. Um, yes, because I wondered if that was, you know, because it, like it's been mentioned that Mary Ann was like basically sleeping with a lot of other people's husbands and stuff. 
right. and obviously lives by a lake. I wondered if the the moon hag was sort of Marianne's like her sort of manifestation of like the part of her she didn't like. Yeah, like her um, alter ego, maybe. Or, yeah, um, yeah, but I don't know. Maybe and a bit of a leap. Right at the beginning, um, when it had sort of the recap of the of the story up to up to that point, it said about the princess running or getting lost in the darkness mm. with the goblins. And I thought, okay, darkness is yeah, is that depression? Is that schizophrenia? Yeah. At one yeah. point, I wrote yeah. down. So I wasn't sure how mm. the story was going, but yeah, there's but a, there's I, a, I a few unanswered stuff. questions there, isn't there? For yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, but you know, you're saying about the puzzles and stuff, and like you actually have to understand. What I took from this is, I wish these games did more puzzles because although that puzzle in inverted commas in like the uh, in the archive in the previous chapter wasn't that great um even the ones before like reading the book and understanding or opening the door the puzzles here i love this i would love more mm. I, like typically they these games in life are strange and um, captain spirit and whatnot I haven't really had much of my puzzles it's been very very basic but these are much more complex and i would love them to take it a step further and do more complex puzzles which really yeah. get you to understand the story and the characters and yeah i thought these were brilliant mm. hopefully they give they've you, worked yeah. out what um what worked and what didn't because i mean i think the most complicated puzzle in this whole thing has been the door yeah. right yeah yeah, yeah definitely. and when we got to that it, it appeared what the stats were really high for people that actually achieve that yeah, yeah now obviously a few of those people could be like james and just look it up um that's and, what you and did me, to be clear i've been accused of ducking this i did say oh. on the, i did yeah i did say on the first episode and no one seemed to pick up on it and then ben was like sean fucking admitted that he cheated as well and no one <laughs> no, 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 sure. no, I, I, I think he said i'm really disappointed that all the lads cheating i'm like mm. well, i i fucking didn't yeah you? i certainly then, didn't yeah. cheat yeah. no i did um just to, okay. I, I, anyway. I don't want to not say anything and then get shouted out by the listeners again for just just keeping quiet. Well, like, yeah, well, James. Don't, yeah, James, who worry. cheated. Cheater James. Don't worry, Ben. <laughs> if you're listening now, James is going to have his moment. Because I've put, back at the dock, ha, 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 James was right. Tom was the father. Fair play, James. Good yep. work. Yep. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, one thing that made me laugh a lot about this is that throughout the three episodes, Marianne has been referred to constantly about how attractive she was hmm. and i thought but tom's all you know yeah. <laughs> come on yeah. tom, chump, tom. Yeah. tom and then i thought well this was a while ago let's look at what tom looked like back then i bet he might have been a stud <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> and it's just tom again nope. <laughs> and exactly he still, he still had his little beard didn't he yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's well, what yeah. made me laugh the most yeah. <laughs> i thought maybe without the beard he's like a really handsome chap <laughs> <laughs> you just saw that little beard again no. and just thought, nope. And then okay. like the because the, the twins sort of say that, don't they? They're just like, Jesus, I can't believe Yeah, yeah, Marianne yeah, had, they do, uh, yeah. Had it <laughs> with yeah. 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 It's bad, isn't it? Yeah. We're trying to work towards a world where looks don't matter and it's and not, yet. you know, and yeah. rightly so. Yeah. But at the same time, everyone was like, What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mum. Do better than that. Yeah. <laughs> um Right, cut cut scene showing Tom's side of the story. Yeah, I'm not sh- sh- so sure I believe this. Um, having to pick which version of the story to believe, your memory or Tom's version. So this is the big decision. This mm. is the sort of flagship decision of the yeah. whole uh, series, isn't it? So let's hear it. Which way did we go? Uh, let's start with James. Okay, so I believed uh, Tom's memory because... Okay. Yeah, I mean, can I explain why? Or should we, we can do... have an argument about it when we find yeah, out. Yeah, let's, let's go around everyone first, I think. Uh, Matt? I also chose Tom's version. Uh, Sean? I also believe Tom's version. Ah, uh, well, that's disappointing then, because we all chose the same thing. <laughs> <I have laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. We, I, I did... There's no way that it couldn't... You, we've spent, like, three episodes, right, constructing all of this evidence for what's happened. Yeah. I can't see how anyone could think that she was still maliciously, like, trying to kill her own children. Well, yeah. no. Right. Okay, okay. Let's, okay. Let's, okay. Let's, so let's here's, talk about here's what happened to argument. us, and then I'll... Because so, I've seen the other, the other okay, option. Okay, I and... haven't seen the other one, okay. but here's... Here was my argument for the other side, and the only thing making me question which way to go. Mm -hmm. I think it's obvious, and I think it's clear that Tom's version was most likely correct. Mm -hmm. It explains everything. It explains why Mary Ann was acting the way she was. 
it explains it explains everything about like what we've learned about Marianne since because this is three episodes of learning Marianne's character and what she was like mm-hmm. initially bit thinking Marianne was one way you know i mean that reflects even in this spoiler cast from episode 1 where we were talking we were arguing essentially over were these children abused and <clears throat> you, you, some of us said you know, you can see signs of abuse around the house when you're initially looking around it. And some of us were questioning that. And that is because the framing of that character at the start was very much that she was an abusive um, parent. Mm -hmm. You slowly start to realize that that wasn't the case. Um, You know, they didn't have the best upbringing, but I don't think that was a fault of Mary Ann. No, it was, I mean, they didn't, yeah, they didn't have a lot of money, and the you know those resources were scarce and everything. But no, and she, and she was going through some deeply. mental torture as well. Yeah. You know, you, you know, I do believe that she was taking drugs in that scene. I do believe that she was um, uh, going through a deep depression. Mm-hmm. Um, and as it as it turns out, their interpretation of what she was doing with that gun was that she was going to take her own life, mm-hmm. and. You know, I think the only other argument you can have for choosing the other way, the other choice, was because it would have been easier for Alison to come to terms with everything had they stuck to their own version of the events. Because the way this panned out, if Tom was correct, the way it panned out was that she needlessly killed her own mother. So if you'd chosen to go the other way, it's easier for Alison to come to terms with the fact that she had to kill Marianne because she was going to kill Tyler yeah. than it is yeah. Yeah. her killing her mum f- when she wasn't going to yeah. kill Tyler. <laughs> um, plus, and, you know, and as we, you know, we, we discussed the fact that, so it wasn't the the stabbing that killed her, it was the fact that she drowned, um, which to me... Yeah, so I was already thinking, like, was this a basically suicide? Like, well, I mean, I suppose you could, you could argue that, you know, it was the shock of being stabbed and being like, oh, my God, even my own daughter has tried to stab me. And that maybe that made it even worse. But I, yeah, so I wondered if it was implying that Marianne was already suicidal and like she happened to get stabbed and just went, fuck this, <laughs> fell into the water and made no attempt like she chose to go under the water and not come out. Do you know what I mean? I don't know about that. So, so when, so when Alison said, like, you know, yeah, yeah, she was, she was planning to kill herself. Um, See, I don't I know like, where that came from because I didn't agree with that. Like, I, I just thought, I thought the reason she had the gun was because somebody was coming to take away her children. She didn't want that to happen. Well, see, it's interesting to say that because if you choose, she wouldn't have known, would she? Because if you choose the option. Uh, if she's, yeah, to stick with Alison's version of events that Marianne was going to kill them, the rationale Alison offers is, yeah, so Marianne knew that her kids were going to be taken away from her. She couldn't handle that because of what she'd been through previously. Um, right. Therefore, she was going to, like, so in order to prevent us being taken away, she was going to kill us and then herself, which obviously seems like a quite a stretch, but has yeah. you know does happen unfortunately see, it has happened like um in real life it's it's yeah see she knew that people were coming because Eddie had warned her mm-hmm. yeah you know, that that was that was what was going to happen so that's why I thought she had the gun I thought she was going to be like no one's taking my children away from me this time you yeah. know like after what had happened to her before you know with losing her the other the other baby yeah and uh, that's why that sort of sent her over the edge and that's why she she had the gun like yeah, I, I, I do think, think she did kill herself I actually wrote this in the a note from for in chapter two, um, I said to Mary, I'm going to kill herself. But we, we didn't mention it at the time, so I I, I totally believe she was going to. Um, but it's interesting you say that about the justification if you choose the other option, Sean. Mm. Yeah, and it's I, and, you I, know, I, in and my does... mind, I believe not. She's going. I don't. Well, I, I don't believe that she's going to kill herself and her kids. I feel she's gonna, just going to kill herself. Mm. Yeah. But, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and, yeah, and, it, and it's interesting. You know, I said on the last episode that I was I was wondering if it was going to be this. Um, you know, it's going to turn out to be a, a an inspector call style thing where it's like, well, actually, everyone sort of had a, a part to play. And that is kind of the case, right? Because obviously, 
Tom had an affair with her and was then a total prick about it when it turned out she was pregnant. Um, Tessa ends up cutting her off. Eddie dobs her in, which, you know, just well, yeah, justifications mean, like, all Tessa around. Tessa makes but, a call. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's what to I was going to say. It's mm. a little bit different from... Inspector Calls was more about, you know, everyone attacking this woman mm -hmm. for essentially no reason. Yeah. Whereas... People had their reasons yeah, for Marianne. Some, Marianne wasn't yeah. this flawless character. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, but it was, yeah, sort of the, the culmination of it was like, well, no one, no one actually murdered her. It was just, yeah. it was all these things piling up, yeah, um, yeah. that led to this this one situation. Um, yeah, so, and yeah, it's just so, fucking so what, sad, isn't it? It's really it's, sad. Yeah, it's heart heart wrenching, and we didn't mention the pictures that you find in Leo's box. Oh my god. You know, seeing the picture of the baby and the tree and stuff was, and the fucking it, the blanket all built Jesus up Christ. to it, and the blanket yeah. and it all, it all um, led up to this decision for me. It was kind of like, so although I was justifying why some people might choose the other way, I just thought at the same time there's no way you could just see all that stuff mm. and ignore the truth when it stares you in the face. In the face, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it just felt really out of character. No matter how how she felt, it, there's no way she was going to kill kill yeah. kids. No yeah. way. Yeah, exactly. and, and I liked that. You know, Tyler comes straight in with like, like this was an impossible, like this was an impossible situation for two children to have to deal with. Like, just yeah. because it, you know we've now figured out that Marianne wasn't a bad person, doesn't mean Allison should suddenly feel like shit for what she did. Because based on the information she had at the time as a child. <laughs> Yeah, like it, you can still understand why she did what she did. Um, yeah, I mean the main person that should feel like shit continuously is Tom. Yeah, because I mean not only did he put you know begin this whole situation to a degree, but also he probably could have done something when she fell in the water, and instead he yeah. ran away. He fucking you ran. Know, yeah. Like... Did, did anyone feel? Uh, did anyone else assume we were going to get a decision about whether or not to dob him in? Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. That mm. was one of the things which I was kind of left a bit feeling unsatisfied really from that because I thought he deserved punishment for all of this honestly uh, yeah. rather than just losing the election I didn't think that was enough yeah, you know, he didn't, he didn't just lose then? the election he lost everything yeah, yeah. The, well it yeah. depends yeah. the well, shop, the shop closed down Tessa leaves him yeah. Tessa went off well not yeah. necessarily I know but I I wanted to oh, feel really? like we yeah. had some agency over that though you know that there was some you know that it wasn't just sort of this these things that yeah. happened to yeah. him. Yeah, there's, yeah. No, there's yeah. Uh, yeah. So having watched the endings, there's I don't know what it is that decides whether or not it happens, but Tessa doesn't necessarily leave him. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Well, what 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 other versions do you see? Um, what other versions of the ending? Yeah. Um, I mean that, that tells you they're still together. The I can't remember. I think it's because there's a letter from her, isn't there? In in the house when you're going through it. Um, yeah, saying she's gone off traveling and stuff. Yeah, so I think basically that that letter is either different or it's not there. I can't remember. Um, and there, so yeah, and it's the conversation with like on, uh, on the phone um, between Alison and Tyler, and I think someone says like, "Oh, I can't believe that like Tess is still with him or something." Oh wow! Um, yeah, that was yeah, odd. I didn't get that at all. So I can't, but um, I can't imagine what decision we've made that would affect that. Um, was that on the same video as where if you'd have ignored Tom? Ignored him in terms of, oh, the decision you make at the end? Yeah, the decision you're making. Um, possibly, yeah, because that results in Alison sticking around, doesn't it? Yeah, but why, yeah. Oh, said, sorry, what? I said, I said, doesn't it? Yeah, do you, do you, do you guys know that? Sorry. <laughs> so, so the final bit, the epilogue. We yeah, so we we all played as Tyler, did we? Emptying the house and that's yeah, right, yeah, clearing off. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so if you stick with um, Allison's version of events that Marianne was a was a, a you know trying to trying to kill them, um, she there they don't sell the house. She stays. Allison stays. Oh wow, I didn't um, know that. So yeah, and she and she like tries to become a writer. Um, yeah, so that's. But I mean, it's sort are of. Are we? Are we? Hold on. Wait. Are we? Are you sure that that's the decision and that's got nothing to do with your connection with no, Tyler? Must, yeah, because the connection with surely... Tyler just dictates, like, basically how well you get on with him during that, like, out of our, how well the, the twins get on during that final section. So, um, so yeah, sorry, we've skipped ahead, haven't we? So after all the stuff with Tom and, and making the final decision, you, you 
the twins have this conversation where Alison says she wants to stop using the voice, right? And right. and and Tyler can either be like, well, no, don't be daft. Like, you know, it's fine. We're going to be all right. But if obviously if it gets bad, we can we can talk about this again. Or Tyler can just be like, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Oh, really? Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, because right. I said, I must say, right, so uh, if we go back to my notes, mm. um, uh, yeah, I put fingers, Tom's version of makes more sense. We've explained that. Yeah. Um, conversation on the bed. Tyler isn't sympathetic. How do you mean? Tyler is not sympathetic what in did that he say? conversation. I can't remember. I, I, I so think I know what you mean, but I can't remember. So he just sort of said, oh, there's no need to be down. Oh, yeah, like, and he's well, like, well, I've got some booze. Woo, let's, yeah. There actually, there actually is. And he's like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, not come on. Get She's just worked it, out man. that she needlessly killed her own mother. That's yeah. That's pretty, and you know, that's pretty heavy. Yep. Like, uh, she's lived all this time that she protected her brother from being killed, and now she's worked out that actually she didn't. Like, I suppose, I mean, yeah. you could argue it's just sort of like gallows humour, I guess. Like he's just, he doesn't know how else to deal with it. So he's yeah, trying to make stupid what, jokes. what but... his humour's like. Well, exactly. Um, nah. yeah. um, uh, Alison yeah. doesn't want really to use the voice again. Uh, mm. But yeah, we had that conversation and mm. it's more like, yeah, no, we'll, I think we, we should still use it and mm. it's fine. Mm-hmm. I assume we um, all got six... that, did we? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, six months later, back at the house again, still not sold. Well, it turns out it was, but when it first started, I, was, I thought, oh, this is still going on. Um, Tom lost the election, lol. Uh, in the house for the last time, Mailbox Bandit escaped. Did anyone read that? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, the That's Mailbox great. Bandit's out again. On the loose. Um, yeah, uh, then I put, send a picture to Ma- of Mary Ann's room to Alison. And she replies back with a selfie. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Tessa dumped Tom. And then, oh God, Tom didn't just lose, he lost by a record margin. <laughs> Did anyone read that? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, he got mm. destroyed. Yeah, if you read the full, yeah. Yeah, full news story. What, what, what was the headline? So, like, great headline. Oh, uh, it was like Vina v- Vici yeah. finished or something. I can't yeah. remember. Um, and then I put Finn, and then I put Strange. Uh, I, they didn't explain the ice cream. <laughs> so, I think that is a plot hole. That's the major, major plot, plot hole, hole. Yeah, yeah. in this whole series that I think the maybe they should go back most. and edit in. Yeah, they, they, maybe maybe after the credits, because I skipped the, skipped the credits, maybe after the credits there was just a bit of text that said, P.S. the ice cream was drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't have seen that because I skipped the bloody credits. What yeah, an no, idiot. Oh, it makes sense. That was the only explanation, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> so ice cream ice cream is drugs yes 100 percent. no zero percent <laughs> was ice cream drugs uh, yeah so yeah so so i completed the story i think we all did with the twins closer together yeah just yeah, yeah it just seems they, weird yeah, he was he was going over there to move move in with her like who i don't know i can't understand who would play this game and be like i don't want them to be friends fuck this i'm gonna make i'm gonna willfully make decisions that drive them apart well, people no, that I hate think space. what this game does is that it's quite ambiguous at points, and like, yeah, like that, that example at the, be- at the beginning here, where I said, you know, don't send Michael over, and that, yeah, that yeah. sent him apart. It's like it's when mm-hmm. the game confuses things, or you think you've read it in a certain way, but actually, that that makes yeah. the opposite. Happen. Yeah, it's legitimate misunderstandings rather than actually trying to hurt each other. Yeah. But, but I don't know. I, I feel like if you play this broadly with the intention of you know n- them not pissing each other off, I think you're pretty much definitely going to get the nice ending, right? Yeah. So ultimately, I think, um, tell me why, I had some good points. I think it, um, I think the way it explored Marianne's character was fascinating. Yep. You know, you never really meet Marianne. Um, all of the memories are questionable, and all of the references to her are questionable up until you get into that loft mm. and you learn about her. In her own, and um, it's important to remember that it's in her own words as well. Mm. So that's not exactly reliable. <laughs> yeah. oh, one bit really annoyed me. I've written here, Alison. This is like basically after you choose a memory, Alison. I've written here, Alison's only just realised that the attic was for them. Jesus. <laughs> like, yeah. she's Alison, like, Alison's Tyler, not the, the bright spot. I mean, yeah, it is, really, like, I suppose, and it is making because I think that's what's supposed to add weight to the suggestion that she was intending to kill herself. Was that yeah? So that attic was there, 
Um, so that yeah, because she knew she was going to take her own life, and yeah, so that and she knew and the that twins would find it. But then, of course, that, that you know that attic was definitely built long before any of this. So I don't know if that holds up. So that's the yeah, that fault must have been there for a while. Yeah. Um, did you? Did any of you try and have a look around the barn to try and see if you could see like the windows and all that kind of thing? Oh, from the outside. Yeah. No, I didn't. Because cause I, I was like, come on, they must have like known there was something up there. Look at it. It's yeah. all like those like stained glass windows and stuff. Mm-hmm. But then you like you have a look around and yeah, you can't. It, the the part where that would be is at the back, and there's no way you can get to it. Like, uh, you can't see it. It's impossible. Oh, so, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so ultimately, I think the game has some shortcomings. I think, um, you know, there's some problems there, but but I think it did some interesting things as well. I mean, you look at episode one and how Tyler's transition was front and centre. That was the main talking point of that mm. episode. And then they eased off a bit for episode two. Episode three, it's just, it's not even really referenced, is it? It's not a thing. Yeah. Um, mm. And, you know, that's an interesting way of showing how things should be. Yeah, um, it was I mean we we talked about this on the main podcast, didn't we? But yeah, like I was saying, it was I I liked the fact that it was like that first episode was making the point that they're not shying away from discussing Tyler's transition and, and how it's affected him, all. but equally no. that's not like it, but he he's allowed to be his own character beyond that. Um yeah, that's not the story. that was not the whole story. That yeah. was just yeah. one facet of of, well, of him, it was really. it, it was even a little bit of misdirection because we thought that this was the whole the whole point. premise, the whole story, yeah, and it, yeah. it just absolutely wasn't. Um, they also had some really interesting things to say about memory and how that can yep. be manipulated in different way, uh, different ways. It also had a lot to say about um not only memory but how people perceive character, how. Yeah two different people that have had two different experiences look at the same person and see completely different things. Um, and I think that stuff was all great. I think some of that gets lost in the fact that there are a lot of areas of this game, especially in episode two and three, that that drag things out mm. or they explore details that are not really that important. And for for, what, nine hours of storytelling, you're kind of like, I don't need this. Yeah. You know, I want to get to the point. I want to get to... It, it It was pacing more than anything else, I think, that it suffered from. Because mm, you, yeah, look at, you, you look at the last hour of this episode, and I really, really thought it was fantastic. Mm-hmm. But then you look at the first two hours, and I thought, there's a lot of nothing here that doesn't need to be here. Yeah, so was, it's weird. You know, because it kind of the, takes the edge off that hour. Yeah, because on the one hand, you know, I, w- I would criticise it for, yeah, the sort of being fluff that's not necessarily needed but then also some things i was curious about that aren't really explained or fleshed out um but like yeah broadly speaking like i I would have been happy with this being shorter if it took out some of the like some of the longer um you know like boring tasks you have to do at times and stuff um and was just like much more of a moment to moment like basically cut scenes that you're making the occasional decision in um I don't know. Am I making any sense? Like, it's like on the one hand, there are things I would like to have seen more of, but overall, I'd have been happy if it was shorter. I think. No, I'm, yeah, I'm totally with you on that. Yeah, yeah, and I think it, I agree. It could have been two episodes. It really could have been, mm. and it would have been like tighter and and better. I think yeah. if they'd have done that, and you know, you'd I've, have got I've, away with some of the drawn out stuff if it was, you know, if there were more episodes and there was more to it it's just that with it being shorter those those drawn out bits because they you know percentage wise they took up a larger portion of the whole thing um you know because like life is strange has had those bits as well but in the grand scheme of things they felt relatively minor whereas this it feels like half of every episode is like quite boring at times and i feel i feel life is strange does a better job of making you care for the characters in the in the story Mm -hmm. yeah uh especially one i mean Hmm. two as well because instantly you care about um your younger brother and you you're trying hmm. to protect him mm-hmm. um in series one it's more about everyone that you meet really i mean when i think about max's mu- not max's mum uh chloe's mum yeah and you know her her life <clears throat> 
uh, you, you know, there's so much there to go on mm. that that draws you in. And I feel this was lacking a little bit, especially with Allison, somewhat towards Tyler as well. Michael, don't really know much about him. The only person I really cared for was Marianne. And that yeah, also, yeah. yeah, and obviously, you know, she was gone before the episode really began. So, uh, before the series began. But yeah, that, that being loft. I mean, I, it, this has not been for me like a, anywhere near the same quality as Life is Strange and mm. other ones we played. But I think that bit in the loft is up there with my favorite bits I played in any of their games, actually. Yeah. I loved the mix, you know, the, you know the, the stories you're learning about, the mixture of puzzles. I thought the environment was really, really well realized. Um, yeah, I think that that's, that's up there with some of the best stuff they've ever done, I think, for me. But overall, it kind of fits into three episodes, which didn't quite hit the mark. Okay, so I think that brings our uh, spoiler cast to an end. Thank you so much for listening. Um, if you don't know who we are, we are uh, TCGS. You can find out more about us at tcgs.co. Um, we do a weekly podcast called The Computer Game Show, um, and you can get that wherever you're listening to this. Go check us out. Uh, we've got a Patreon, um, patreon.com forward slash TCGS. If you'd like to support us and what we do, then please head over there and um, chuck us a few quid. You can get some extra content. And um, yeah, until next time. Uh, thanks for living it, I guess. Well, there won't be a next time. This is the last one. Well, the last spoiler cast ever. I doubt it. <laughs> We're not doing it's... Twin Mirror. Let's just no, take, well, no, declare that. Let's, let's, let's play it first. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take notes on Twin Mirror, James. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. We're going to have to do... Oh. <laughs> <laughs>